Now to our guest tonight. The first time I saw him perform live was 25 years ago in a tiny room at the Melbourne Comedy Festival, where he appeared to weave magic out of thin air. Since then, the rooms have gotten exponentially bigger, but the magic remains the same. Would you please welcome the one and only Ross Noble! G'day. Hello. Oh, my Lord. Yeah. <laughs> I am... I'm very glad that you said I saw him in a tiny room at the Melbourne Comedy Festival, because I thought you were about to say, he was working in a peep show. <laughs> <laughs> it was the least erotic experience of my life. Yeah. <laughs> and look at us now, you've got a shiny desk. I've got a very shiny, shiny very desk. shiny desk. And also, can I ask you a quick question? Yes, of course. Up there? It's, it's a lot of uh, light emission. Yes. A lot of light emission. How does it affect werewolves? Because you've got a full moon, yeah. right? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> they're turning, but I think the artificial light would offset the speed of the transmogrification. <laughs> so, so do you think they'll be trapped mid-wear? Yes. Yeah, so exactly. a, little, a little like yourself. Mo yes. <laughs> Very much so. That's it. Well, like this a, is it. Less of a werewolf, more of a uh, werewolf. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I prepared for this interview. Yes, now that's I, um, true. One thing I did want to ask you about, it was yes. you have done gigs literally everywhere on the planet. Yeah. You have even... So, sometimes, sometimes where they don't want me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you've entertained troops in Afghanistan, and I was just wondering, are you <laughs> well suited to a war zone? You say that. Yeah, I went out, I, I entertained the troops, and uh, they love a laugh, the Taliban. <laughs> the, um, no, not really. Not really. Which? <laughs> no, it was our side. It was very much our side. No, the, the mad thing about <laughs> it's going over there. Sorry, is... I'm, I'm now imagining you doing a gig in a cave for the oh, Taliban. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you just go. Oh, but you do oh, sort of. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, oh. Yeah. So yeah, well, it's, it's a mad thing over there because there was because uh, everything's beige and everybody's wearing camouflage, right? But this is a terrible thing. But on the American base, one of the Americans had been run over by one of the military vehicles because it turns out if you wear camouflage, people can't see you. Yeah. So on the base down in Helmand, everyone had to wear camouflage and a high vis sash. <laughs> and you just... You're just going, what is going on here? Yeah, I, like... what little I know about a war zone, <laughs> yeah. occupational health and safety you is know. very important. It's mad as well, because, like, you find out that, you know, the levels of your masculinity <laughs> when you're surrounded by a lot of people who are there to, to defend and protect. And they love, they love showing off their, you know, surface-to-air missiles that you get? And the, the commanding officer said, we're going to set one of these off in a minute. And I'm stood there, and this thing literally, this giant rocket, and it went... <laughs> it shot off into it, and I went, oh, f me sideways. <laughs> and then I sort of stopped, and I looked at the fella, and I went, is, is that the lamest response to one of these things going off? <laughs> right? And the guy said this, which is amazing. He said, there's a young lad, it was his first day in the war zone, he set the rocket off, and it went, Wah! like that. And he went, that's impressive, isn't it? And this young lad went, you'd have to be bloody mad to fly one of them things. <laughs> 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 so, I imagine you, due to your childlike innocence and curiosity and wonder, yeah. I imagine you could be trouble in that sort of environment. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I was. I got in a lot of trouble. Once involving Prince Andrew, right? <laughs> Which... Sorry, I'm just... <laughs> No, yeah, no, we want to hear it. Okay. We want to hear it. Yeah, okay. absolutely. They said, do not mention the fact that Prince Andrew is in the audience. <laughs> it's a massive security risk, but I, I couldn't help myself. I just went, oh, look, I know I'm not supposed to talk about this, but Prince Andrew's here, and it's really weird knowing there's somebody in the audience who you've licked a picture of their mum. <laughs> <laughs> like... Because it, it's true. It is true. It's true. Yeah, it is. I mean, so you've toured a lot around the Australian desert, yeah. doing doing gigs around here. How yeah. does an Australian desert compare to an Afghanistan <laughs> desert? Uh, Afghanistan's a bit safer. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you do gigs all through, like Western Australia, through desert towns yeah, and stuff yeah, like yeah. that. Yeah, it's great, especially Karatha. You've got this brilliant theatre in Karatha, and then people just uh, appear from, you know, from out of the desert. I, f I sort of feel a bit like... I'm like Obi-Wan Kenobi. You know? <laughs> <laughs> just doing these gigs in the desert, and then, uh, you know, you go, the night is drawing in, the sand people will be here soon. <laughs> and then, then the heckle... The, especially if, you, if you're playing in uh, Mount Isa. Yeah. Uh, yeah, a lot of the heckles are very similar to the sand people who... <laughs> <laughs> And they shout at you, and I go, I'm not the comedian you're looking for. <laughs> <laughs> not the comedian. 
I love it. And the sand people of Australia are so glad every time yes. Obi-Wan is on the road. Ross Very Noble much. is touring Australia at the moment. Go see him. Would you please thank the incomparable Ross Noble! Thank you very much. Thank you very much.